everybody. I'm here in Norway and I'm so excited to be sending you a nature video that I'm working on now. But today's video is about 5G and the current meter readings in Miami, Florida. Thank God I'm not there right now. <laughs> a few days ago, uh, with the help of my mother, she was so gracious to drive me around three main areas in Miami, which are Wynwood, Downtown, and Brickell. A few years ago during COVID, when everyone was locked down, they actually finished installing the 5G grid. If you don't know about 5G and this type of radiation, please go to my playlist radiation and you will learn all about it there. So since then, they have been incrementally increasing the amount of radiation through this millimeter wave technology, which is a brand new technology that has never been exposed to public consumption. This technology was actually used in the military as a weapon. It was used to heat the top layer of the skin and it was used to disperse crowds at protests. So fast forward a few years and now this is what everyone is putting into their ears and near their brain and driving by every day. This is a kill grid. That's not even up for debate. These millimeter waves cannot be read with normal radiation detectors, such as the ones used for 3G, 4G, and RF radiation. This requires an entirely new type of meter. And unfortunately, there is only one meter available to the public as of now, and it costs around $850. It's very expensive, and so many people can't afford to buy one. I ended up saving up my own money and investing in one myself because I wanted to share with you the readings that we're getting in real time in these areas. I'm going to start doing timestamps of certain locations, wherever I travel, I'm going to start recording them so that you can stay informed with what's going on and to see where we're at in terms of severity of the situation for public health. This meter that I'm about to show you in the video ranges from 20 gigahertz up to 40 gigahertz. This is massive amounts of radiation, especially because the radiation that we've been exposed to up to this point is a lot lower on the scale. 3G, 4G, 5G goes all the way from 20 gigahertz up to 100. Now, something really interesting has been found to happen at 60 gigahertz. This was recorded in a, I think, a microbiology book. There's not too much information on this, so I definitely think there should be more testing done. But basically what was found is that at 60 gigahertz, that millimeter frequency counter rotates the oxygen molecule making it unable to attach itself to our hemoglobin, therefore causing asphyxiation. I know this is what happened in China during COVID. I know that those meters were already pumping at 60 gigahertz, and that's why there's tons of surveillance videos of people actually dropping dead. That was real. What was happening was that the oxygen molecule was counter-rotated due to the 60 gigahertz frequency and therefore people could not breathe oxygen. They were asphyxiating. This is how they're going to depopulate the planet alongside all their other agendas they've got going on, which I don't have to explain to you, but I'm sure you already know. I mention a lot of them in this channel, including chemtrails, including toxic chemicals in our food and our fragrances and our products. The way this radiation is increasing is akin to the frogs in a hot pool analogy. So if you've got frogs in a hot lake, per se, and you slowly, incrementally increase the temperature of that lake, they're not going to notice, they're going to acclimatize until the point where they just start dying off. And that's what they're doing with our radiation. If they were to hit us right now, in the United States or in other parts of the world, like they did in China, with these higher gigahertz frequencies, 
that our human biological body has never been exposed to before, it would create basically a massive genocide. So to make it look more natural and more incremental, that's what they're doing is they're increasing the amount slowly. I was alarmed to find that the readings today actually hit the max capacity of my 5G reader. This particular meter that's available to the public ranges from 20 gigahertz to 40 gigahertz, which is a massive amount of radiation. You know, when you're talking about 100 gigahertz, like, forget it. Like, it's unconceiv it's inconceivable because we've never been exposed to this. Neither have we been exposed to 40 gigahertz. So during these readings, my meter hit the peak. And sadly, the kill grid is on. This is actually me creating a sound alarm to all of you to notify you if you live near these towers, if you work near them, you need to get out now. The damage that's being done on your DNA is inconceivable. And if you're talking on a 5G phone up to your brain, I mean, I, all I can do is share awareness with you. And if you know someone who's doing this, let them know as well. It's the fact that we've been kept in the dark that people are just naively falling into these kill grids. And unfortunately, there's going to be a lot of people that are going to suffer as a result of their ignorance. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and show you the meter readings. And at the end of this video, I'm going to attach uh, some radiation videos that I put out a while ago, ways to mitigate your radiation, and also the scientific effects of this radiation exposure. I'm sending you all so much warmth, and I'm sorry to sound the alarm and to be a, a, a not bringing the best news today, but I know that it's through awareness, that it's through standing up and refusing to invest in these technologies and sharing the information with people that we will be able to create a technology which actually creates healing frequencies for us. Okay, we're at moderate to high intervals. This is not good at all. This is with a little 5G tower. Look at that high, it goes mm -hmm. to high. High again. Mira, mira, mira. Mira, mira la torre ahí. Mira eso. That's three, oh my God, 425. That's the highest reading I've gotten so far. That's bad. Mira, otra torre acá. Mira eso, mami. Look at that. Just driving. Just driving through here. Hmm. Otra torre acá. Mira. Boom. Hi. The ones in Wynwood um, just went to moderate. The ones here are going to hide. That's how they're going to depopulate the whole world, mommy, is through wow. these towers. Wow. Look, high, high reading again. Oh my God, it just went to extreme. A <gasps> thousand, a thousand three hundred. Look, a thousand three hundred. Oh. The highest reading I've ever gotten was four hundred, and it was right there. And right in this corner, thousand. it went to a thousand three hundred eighty. Oh. And it went to extreme, okay, which means ahora, ahora that we're miremos, miremos brickle, which means that we are at the 40 gigahertz. Whoa, high reading right here. Oh my God, mira eso. 130, not oh. 970. And then can you make a left on this one? Oof. Mira. Oh. It went to 40 gigahertz. Two towers right next to each other. You see the black one and the white one? You see them right there? Yeah, They're right next to each other? 
Yeah, look, high, high reading. Wow. Hi. Estos es, ya están prendidos y están altos. Hmm. Uf, toda esta calle, mira, otro ahí, otro ahí. Sí. Y mira, otro acá. Why do we no, need so joder. many cell phone towers right here? Aquí esa. Sí, esta, esta, right here. Ah, you, ok, sí. Yeah. Uy, esta está that, inmensa. That's a big one. It's a big one. Sí, esa está grande. Uy, sí, mira That's esa. four cell phone towers in one block. Wow. Oh, this is not a, a good spot either. They have all of this covered. Acá está otra. <gasps> sí. Sí. And watch it go. Hi. Hmm. Está prendida. Y fuerte. Y mira esta. ¿Otra? Now we go on to the next one right here. So bad. 